Okay, this is a drunk David. No, you're not. Did you consume that? Uh, no, I spit everything. But it's like your mucous membranes are working. Are working overtime. So, uh, John and I just got through uh, talking with uh, David Liniak from a couple of companies. And uh, awesome guy. I've, I uh, worked for him for at least the first two years of my uh, time at uh, Nibam Coppola way back when. Uh, loved working with him. Him and uh, uh, Tara. Can't remember her last name. Valentine. No, not Valentine. But she was our. Uh, uh, she was a supervisor. He was a manager on uh, Sundays through Wednesdays. Anyway. Um, Made it through all of the spirits. It was my last tasting, and uh, John's gonna uh, guide dog me to back to Bard, I guess. We're gonna take a walk first. We're gonna take a walk first to go see uh, Kendall. Kendall. Why, why don't we have Kendall come and visit us? He wants us to see us in the court. Oh, okay, so walk. We have to walk and go see Kendall. Okay, so we're gonna go see Kendall. Our good buddy and John's son, and uh, uh, the 20-year-old uh, uh, rum was awesome. I tasted that. That was pretty. What the, was that proof? I, uh, it was like 150 uh, proof. Yeah, the the rye whiskey was really good, and uh, I went through all the tequilas. Oh my God! And the, and the mezcals. Oh my God! So uh, that was. Um, that was a trial and tribulation, but I made it through, and I felt like I've uh, accomplished something. John, your your oh, comment. Just put me on a hold for a second, because I got to finish sending this. Was a 08. I've gotten to record. What? Why? Chris. Um, it was a great tasting. Um, I really, really, really liked um, a couple wines. I liked the um, the Cameron Hughes uh, 2010 Moscato uh, Moscato di Asti from Italy. Oh my God, that was wonderful. And I loved the um, Malvasia um, the Pasito from Virginia. Pasito is a process where the grapes are laid out and they for several months where they completely dry before they're pressed. Mm -hmm. So it's an extremely sweet wine and again it's uh, very aromatic, very delicious. Oh by the way that uh, um, Moscato de Asi was his 5% alcohol. Wow. Yeah, I said to the lady who was pouring before me, I go, you could almost serve that to your children. Um, I just want to point out to John's hat. What's, what's in your glass there? This is, I'm just sending this to my uh, son in law, Jim. This is the 08 um, Stoller Vineyards uh, Pinot Noir from the Dundee Hills, uh, double gold medal winner. Ah. So I'm having a full pour of that. And, uh, and I have a full pour of um, water with a little bit of the, uh, the whiskey in it, I think. So that's my full pour. Hmm. And also um, the Malbec. Um, from uh, Mendoza, Argentina, I had one full pour of that. That was probably um, one of my best too. I wasn't that impressed with the cabs. Nothing really sticks out in my mind. To be perfectly honest. Um, what about the Pinot? Uh, the Pinot. I'm I'm having this the Stoller. I think that's my favorite. Hmm. And then um, I'm waiting for hopefully to get a cork of, from the Colonial Estate from Barossa, uh, which is would be a Syrah. Or Shiraz, as they call it in Australia. Shiraz. Shiraz. It's um, retails for two hundred and twenty dollars a bottle. It's one cork I don't have in my pocket, and I need to go get one. So that was very good too. Thank you very much. Come back, and as you see, we have a very beautiful view. What twenty-something floor again? What's that uh, building with the big dome? I don't know. That's that too. It has to be a hotel, I bet. Probably is Islamic Temple. I see City Hall right down there. So Kendall's right in, I see Kendall's building. I don't see it. Yeah, well, you're at the long angle. Okay. I'm not too far. Really too far, I'm going to fall over. <laughs> 2008. Um.